So I think it's easy. Uh. So you need a better machine to build faster. So this is what. So I think we conclude it here. Uh. Then we continue. So now we have the permission uh, Okay. Uh, user permission. Then we do NFC. But it long, but it cannot do anything, lah. Obviously, lah, because we never process, ma. Okay. So now we have NFC. So I think this is the user feature, lah. But I technically forget what is the name, ma. So if you want, I can check this one. NFC uh, feature. Android NFC feature string. Yeah, mine up with your Google, like everything is looking fine. Okay, and I see feature screen is which one? Oh, 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 give me more. You see, I even lazy to click on the link. I just want to <laughs> find inside. So then I see it, don't waste time. Clicking also doesn't take more time. Okay? So you put here, you put Android required through. Lah. So this will filter out every phone that we done NFC. Lah. Okay? So what do I, how do you test? It's actually you click first up. To, you see, this is the activity. You click first. I haven't launched a new one. Uh, so this is the tag. It's go. What better is it? Cannot, cannot put here. <laughs> really? Or cannot put there? Or better? Or? You, you cannot put my tag on metal space. Uh, I mean, you cannot put the tag I give you on a metal surface and hope to read. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh. My tag are not that type of tag. Uh. Those tags are 10 ringgit ones. Huh? <laughs> God, you have to buy metal, means can handle metal. I don't know how they do also, lah, but can. Lah. Okay, so you stick those on the car also, you can read. Lah. This one definitely cannot. So you see, I put my laptop also cannot. This one works because there's a sticker. If you come later, I'll show you. Okay, so now actually you see launch. Huh? Once again, not launch. You just tap the launch. I cannot see. Okay, that's all. But that's the that that's what we call for background dispatch. Uh, and it's only done because of this thing only. Uh, okay? And I'm sorry. Next, we come to enable NFC permission and then NFC feature filter. We go through. Okay? Now we can write app already. Oh, permission now uh, we have to remember. Uh, permission means please change the grader. 22. Okay? This because of runtime. Okay, sing now. So now to enable foreground dispatch, we actually will do it in our resume. Lah. Okay, we wow. Okay, on resume and also on off. This one we, we disable. Lah. So we need a NFC adapter. Lah. So we get an NFC adapter here by calling NFC adapter, get default adapter and put in this. Okay, then you create a few. Okay, so now once you have NFC adapter, so you just need to see actually what is the parameter you need like in case you forget. NFC adapter, enable foreground dispatch. Easy, right? Uh, okay, you need four parameters. The activity, which is the context, the pending intent, the intent filter array, and the tag list array. Tag list array means actually you can filter out which technology? You, if you want to detect my fair classic learning, you can also. But I think we don't care. Uh, only one and that. Uh. Okay, so we have to do one by one. Uh. The first one we already have is the this uh. Second one is of the pending intent. So we have to create the pending intent. Pi equal to pending intent. Get activity. And then context. And then code. Ah, this part is the one that intended launch yourself. Intended launch yourself. Get class. Wow, so fun. Okay, so this is the second parameter. The appending uh, intent that actually launch yourself. Look at the intent you already know. Remember context, uh, request code. This is the what you really want it to launch. And this is uh, the thread, which we never use. Uh. Fine. The third one is the array of the intent filter. So we have to create the intent filter first. So then you can put it into the array. Uh, so I think it's a constant. You actually can copy the string now, but I think we the constant adapter and see adapter. 
Do you see that? What happened is, uh, oh, I've been checking, I have this carbon. It's, it's not under the NSA doctor. It's under the NSA. Oh, got me? Oh, go, go, go. Okay? Uh, so this is the filter that actually listen to the NDEF discover. But you have to match what you put inside manifest. So we have to do one by one. Add category. Category of under what level? The default. Can I just type default? Like? Cannot. Category default? Yes. Under what class? Oh. Yeah, it just should be everything also under intent. Intent dot category default. Okay, so now the last one is the add data type. Okay, so this is the plain text. Uh. Okay, so this three line, right? No, it's integer. Uh. It's not a string. Uh. It's a data type or type only? Or is it also under intent? Uh? You don't know, no right, it's when she typed in the text string right, means it's not data type right. Hey, data type? Then why it doesn't take my string right? No wonder. Okay. He he worried they actually put in nonsense. Okay, so now the next one is actually uh, we need an array. Intent filter array filters equal to uh, array really put inside uh, filter uh. can I? Uh, can I yeah? do that one uh, filters and then now uh, we means we don't need the tag list okay done this is for the this is the plain text now this one really have to catch uh. <laughs> but we, at least it would crash uh. Okay. But that means actually, actually I try to discover all and that but not specific anymore. Lah. But still will work like I just actually will detect other things as well. Okay? So now we disable. Lah. Disable for them to put this. Okay, can test this already. So then you can see launch itself again. Okay? Don't know whether you can see or not. You tap you test already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will test this. Okay. He said, I will test it. Okay, because I changed the IP, the 22, right? I actually have to uninstall and install again. Okay, so now, this is what I, I don't know whether you can see it. Because it, you should see it launch itself. Right? Or maybe you can see like this. Right? You can see. Oh. So it means actually if I press back now, it will be the previous one. I need to press three back only can go up. Uh. One, two, three. Why? Because that's what happened. You launch yourself. And since you never set single instance, uh, you will keep on launching yourself again and again. Okay? So now we fix by adding the single instance. Uh. It's not actually, it's only one of the solutions. There are other solutions. Some people don't like this solution because single instance has one problem. Right? It cannot handle an activity result. Right? So actually, if you need to handle like this app also need to start camera and get back, right? It won't work anymore. Of course, you say why is it won't work? I don't know. So single instance cannot have an activity result. Right? How about the reorder to fun? I don't know, you want to test that. Right? Okay, let's reorder to fun cannot done from here, you know. Because it's not a screen mode, you know, it's not a launch mode, you know. So I don't know what how to add that, you know. Because this one, right, the intent to launch, right, that particular thing is done by someone else, not by us. Uh. So that's why I remember the only thing I can find work is actually I set it to don't let him launch again. Uh. So I'm not sure. I know got some other solution, uh, but I'm not sure what how to. How to I found one that actually worked then I just stick with this one. Okay, so I change the launch mode to single instant and then launch again. Then it should not launch again. Actually you can't even see that. Because it's 
I, I should on the sound. How do we on the sound? NFC got sound, right? Why did not you do sound on that? So now it doesn't launch, right? Launch or not? No, right? That's working with me, lah. So I think of sound. This is foreground dispatch, but it won't launch itself. But what happened? Now we need to get back the data. So to get back the data, right, we create a method that actually handles both together. Okay? Why? Because if, if this happens here, if you see get intent, we get an intent, right? But the get intent action got two. There are two types of action you can get. First is actually if I launch from here, NFC tag. What do I call that? Read tag. So if I click read tag, right? This intent is just the action main category home. Is it category home? Ma? Oh, category launcher and then action main. This is the one. So if you detect this one, okay, this is not the one. But if you get this one, if you get this one, this one will be action and then discover category default and with that. This is the one you get the intent and then process it. Correct. So you have to check that before you process. If not, you go and process the one that actually you launch, you crash up. Because it's not even that action. Now you know right that's how it works right. Different action will launch it different intent. This launching from here is this main action with this category launcher. So this one we don't want. So we have to filter this one out. So first is actually we get action. Get action equal intent. Oh, and let's see another Let's see another. Action and then discover. La. This is action. La. If we equal, then only we continue. La. So we put an if inside. It's just a string line. See, that's why actually you can just equal like this. La. Okay, it cannot equal like that. La. It's a string. La. So this is what launched your app. I check the action. I know that oh, the action is really and then discover. Me is the background dispatch already. So now process intent. Oh, how do you want to call it? Decode intent. Look like. We are read in. I have read our. The man we call read intent or read. Read intent. Read data. Whatever. Lah, eh. So we read intent, we put in the intent. Lah. Okay? So now there's now one more thing which is actually what about the one foreground dispatch or the one launch from background? It's called a new intent. Okay, on new intent, also you got intent. We also read intent. Ah. But this one cannot get intent. So you see the, the parameter to go in is different. Ah. This one get it from get intent. Ah. This one get it from intent. Ah. But either way, like, we just create the method. Ah. Let him create for us. Ah. Create the method. Okay? Now read intent. Okay, how to read the intent? Copy paste. Ah. No time. No, time. Uh, no I, think, I think you remember. I think. Okay, first actually there is a get passable get passable array extra with a key of see, no point. We have to check also the key. The key is what? Where is the slot? The key is extra and death messages. Extra mm -hmm. and death messages. And I see it after. Extra and death messages. Okay, this will be the key that actually should return something called for server extra. So you let him create the variable for us. Uh, can I just call it for server? Okay. Then after that, for each server, you cast it to an then message. So for integer i equals zero, i less than the length of passable length uh, and then a five plus plus. Okay, so each one, the pass server, you get it at i. Pass server at i, because it's an array. You just need to cast it to end that message, which is a very good kind of way of message. Okay? And that, what do you see? And that message. And then you create end that message. Ah. And that message. Ah, yeah. Just do a 
This is the message. Okay? So now for each message, right, you should also try to get their record. Then now this one we save it as a array of and that record. So now we also have to check inside j equals 0, j less than the record's length, and then j plus plus. And then of course they say, what if it's more than one message, more than more record? I don't care like you have yourself out. This one assume one message one record. The first time we get already use it. We put it on the text field or something like this. Okay? So this one we'll get the MDEF record at this record. Records at J. Okay, so now you need to check for the tag is it string string or not? Cannot remember. What is the method? Check for string. Okay. There you go. Too many things to remember. Okay, but you can explain that. Okay, if the record get type equal to text, string text, then we go and get out the payload with a byte array original and copy it. If you really want that, you print out the original. Just so that you can see. Uh, we actually need to. Okay? We print out the original. Okay, so preload, uh, we have a text field or not? Please add the text field or not? Okay, I think we need to add. We just put it. ID. We need an ID. Text field. Okay, then after that, we come here. Uh, find you by ID first. Find you, uh, find you by ID. Uh, dot ID dot text field. Okay, pass it to text field. And then declare as a field. You need to use it below. Control B. Okay. okay. And then also remove this and declare a field. Good. Okay, we declare a field already. We can print out the text. Huh? Okay, just in case right, there are multiple records, right? we call a pen. Huh? Then you will append multiple record with different lines. Could also see we already had that. Right? You got many multiple message, multiple record, you will print all of them. Right? Okay? Run this. Right? So we will check both. Ah huh? uh, yeah, hello we will be still there. Because I can forget to remove. Never mind, hello, hello. Next next time we will remove. Right? Okay? So now launch already, I think. So let's do a foreground inspect first. Uh, this is the MDEF. Uh. Can you put thing? Oh, you not even new line. But it's okay. Uh. So it's working. Uh. So now what it add? See, this is the one we don't want to get. But how come I start from 3? Uh? Zero, 1, 2. Don't start from 2. I mean, there's one more byte. I don't want to do it. Okay, technically, if I look from here, right? Maybe it's a non string byte. I think there's a non-string byte because I remember I have to start from 3 years. Okay, so this is the English. Uh. So if you want to print out this also can. Uh. Okay, but you know uh, the, sec the first and second byte give you EM. The third byte and below is a payload. Okay, so now we come back here. We delete the hello world first, which is done. Then we come back here. We enable this 3 low one. Uh. And then now we put in the value and then we append it. Okay? Send. Okay, this one we do a background dispatch. This one is a foreground one. Okay? This one is a foreground one because you launch it directly. Then we do both. Okay, where's my where's my tag? Stick up. Stick on the phone. Okay, so this is the tag. This is the foreground. Foreground one because it's on now. So, so really key byte, eh? Okay, so means is of course you check lah, you test whatever lah. There is one byte, I don't know what is it also. But there's an E, there's an N, then your payload lah. Okay, I quit and then do a background to spec. Now quick already, eh? This is the background. Really? Oh, still new code. This one instant run very funny, yo. 
Just now you run my new coat. When I quick and run again, it's the old coat. What actually happened? Uh, means it's not an install. No. It's not an install. No, actually, it's uh, they go in memory and modify our code. Uh, so funny how they do it. Uh. So I actually have to uninstall. If not, it won't be a new code. This instant right? means I keep working with it. Okay, done. Uh? Let's fork out this pad and back out this pad. That's uh, how to read a tag. What else you can do? I don't know. Like, depends on your imagination. Okay. Okay. So now this another time of background to spend, but this one should be our new code, lah. Like. Okay. Right away you can condition how to. If if you don't have any application. Hey. Good question, sir. Good question. I don't have one. I think you still have sound, but nothing happened, lah. Maybe. The sound is always happen uh, because system uh, Then nothing wrong, uh, nothing like uh, this, nothing uh, Not even a uh, system map uh. Wait, if I keep one background, it's bad It's a uh, bad, no? Bad as well How quite fast is so again? Uh, okay, so now this is the uh, read and write tag uh. So, actually we didn't write uh. We just read tag only Okay, but with multiple way of dispatch uh. So if you want to continue, right the, the slide of the one I assume is not very useful But we still go through fast uh, Which is the Android Beam uh. Android Beam is a way that actually you can enter data from one phone to another phone directly So it's introduced in 14 You also need the adapter You also need the permission but you just call this method. For just now when you have the NFC, right? You call set and then push message callback. And you use a new instance of create and then message callback. And this is the one you create the message. But of course they say, why is it create the message? Because it only trigger when there are two phones with Android Beam activate come together. So it's only at that moment one create, push the other receive. That's all. So we retrieve whatever so you can put here generate an enter message uh, put in the value uh, like you reverse what we do just now new man message new man message and so on i think we got show here and then message anyway, new enter message new enter record inside go and send new record put in oh this one i do what uh. i actually don't know what i do this one and it goes quite long already so the first parameter is the mind type Media. Then the second parameter is your the text play, but this one is my own. So it's a beam message. Uh. Then I get back from here and put in US as key. Then this is the value. But actually I put in this as the so I think this is what I push up. Obviously, this is what I push up. So what is this? Uh? First parameter. This whole thing is Second parameter. Why are there a sending column here? Actually, I can't even tell. I have to test this out. So after that, this is this is you create the message. So which means that whenever this is still active, by right, any Android being come, this will push. This Android record will be pushed, and the other phone will have an Android record discover. Okay. So this one is you remove this. Huh? So if you remove this. Then we no longer push up. Then after that, of course, the receive side, right? The receive side is exactly like the current reader. So the receive side, you also need that the filter. But now the the mind type put in our own beam. So which means now this activity will launch because of your that particular mind dot beam. Okay. Then after that, once you go inside, right? You notice that it's exactly what you do. Pass out as a right away and so on. So when so the receive side of the Android beam right does not distinguish whether the Android message is come from a beam or come from a tag. The process is the same. The part that actually push right is the one that new one, which is this one. You create the message and record on the phone and create this method so that actually trigger the and then discover on the other phone. And then the rest, the phone side, the receive side side is easy. It's exactly like reading text now. The pushing side actually, that's all. 
But I think need to check the parameter. I, I, this is the data I push. Come this as a semicolon. Something wrong, right? You cannot end the statement like this, right? I think missing one line. You know? I suspect uh, how to generate and that message. No, it's whatever I, I find as a loop. Okay. Wow, that also can. You can do it empty one. Nah. Okay, this one is not correct. So actually, you need a type. Can be nana. Then a byte array of what you need to send. Okay, we almost correct that. So, I think extra line, not missing line. Right? So this new byte array, right, should should not be here, right? Then why we don't search the constructor directly? We search the constructor directly. Constructor, constructor. This is the the type. What do I send? I use our own. Is it? We use oh, we use only one of them. But you can use the rest also, lah. Uh. Then the second one is the type of the type array. You have to give him type array. So if a type also, you have to call get type. Then there's an ID byte. Then there's a payload byte. Three type. Byte array of the type. Byte array of the ID. Byte array of the payload. So if you want to specify the type, so I think our one have to call get byte from here. Oh, I think this one is done. Should not have this. This should be a comma. That's a comma. My ID is zero. So the type. Bar array of the type, bar array of the ID, and bar array of the data. Okay, just a mistake of you know don't know why this one not common. This is just a common one. Okay, three bar array lah. So this string right we call get bar, but actually you can remove this lah. Uh, this one, this one just use a specific and golden lah. Uh, I don't know why need to set this. Probably no need lah. Uh. I suspect can call get bar directly. Just like how this is done. Uh, I think just call get back can. This one also is just a uh, can put now also like I see some people also put now. Okay, so that's all. Okay, this one can share already. Finish already. Or actually we can create the push also. If you really want. Very fast also lah. We push also lah. I just look at this. We just need this thing only lah. Set and then push message. We also do it in the. We also do it in the what lah. Uh, on resume lah. So on resume do two things lah. Not only it have a foreground dispatch, it also has a what lah? What lah? Set. Set. And then push message call back. New. Create and then message call back. And then you have to create and then message. And then return the and then message. Okay, you have to return the and then message only lah. Okay, to generate the other message, that's how we do lah. Okay. But I still don't know lah. Why my like, create my media type? The one they use as a sample, I right, don't have for all very simple in here. Okay. So the second parameter is uh, activity. Is it? Oh, but I have to add main activity dot this lah. Okay. Not really. Oh, you see that? This one end here. This one end here. Comma. 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 Oh, I need to put right return first. I need to return something first. Okay, so I need to make sure the new record is correct. No, I think we just make it plain text, uh, so that actually you can use back the same of message to receive. Why need to change it to complicated? The type, then get bytes. Really? Why is they give me this? Oh, now already. 
No, copy from PDF, the code is something wrong. Huh? They did bytes. So then, then the next one is what do you want our ID be? New byte zero. Huh? Means it's a zero ID. Huh? Then finally, the value of the, the, the content have to change. Huh? I send you www.google.com. And then, you know, so messy. Lah. And so, this end here, how to fix this here? Can okay, nah. I? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so on pause, I have to disable it. Uh, how to disable Set and then push message call back now. Oh, actually you call it again, but put it now. Set and then set and then push message call back now, and then mean and you did not this again. So actually, it's either you create something or not create something. Okay, try and see. Yeah, uh. you still use that. Uh. Our same code will work out uh, because of the mind type. Oh, record is wrong. What is our record type? T or how to change it to T? I think it's a well known type. It's a well known type. It's a plain text mark. Plain text is well known, okay? Plain text well known, okay? Ten. So I say I want to push www.google.com to him. Because I think he has a working code over <laughs> No, because the receiver just now will work. I don't know what happened, huh? The D, it becomes smaller, you push right. Is it? So you have to have a look. Did I send already? Oh, let me test and see. Come. You, you don't have to on. You go home. I think home. Oh. <laughs> no, you go, you go, you go. You see, it becomes small. You don't do anything, huh? It becomes small. Oh, it wouldn't print on. This like this lost lost. It wouldn't print on that. So I have to do again. Okay. We accidentally. Then I push. We do that together again. Then you complain. Did I say anything? Do you see? So we push, but why I don't take that? This is our old code, is it? Oh, I have to uninstall. I think just now it's not uninstall, right? Oh, you hate this part. No, I have to. I think I have to uninstall because just now it will. It it show my my 